the best prepaid debit card with no fees. Hey guys, I literally spent two hours of my life researching every single card in the first two pages of Google search results. I have to say, when you're doing your research and looking at websites like these, you shouldn't just blindly trust what they are saying because they do earn a commission from promoting these products. I have nothing against affiliate links, but you have to understand that sometimes they might not be promoting a product that's in your best interest, which is why it's very important for you to be skeptical. But after doing all my research, I've come to the conclusion, and I do agree with the two commenters on my previous videos, that the two best prepaid debit cards are the American Express Bluebird card and the American Express Surf card. So there's your answer, but I hate to spoon feed your products. The goal here with my channel is to teach you one, how to critically think for yourself, and two, how to approach decision-making when it comes to your money. So I want to walk through with you guys in this video how I came to my conclusion and what my thought process was. But before I start, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for notifications for my future videos. This is part three in a four-part series about prepaid debit cards. The next video is about how to budget with prepaid debit cards, so please be sure to subscribe and get notified when that video comes out. Okay guys, so here I am on the official website for Green Dot, which is a very large player in the prepaid debit card industry. And they have several prepaid debit cards for you to choose from. They've been around for 20 years and they've served 33 million, not customers, but suckers, because I actually think that their fees are pretty outrageous and this is not a card I would recommend. So they're the number one debit card in retail, yada yada. If you search through their site, they have a lot of positive testimonials along with, look, you go here and I've clicked through all of these. It's not really easy to find their fees. You know, they talk about what's great about their company and their cards, but you won't find much. Okay. So how do you really find their fee schedule and compare um, different cards? The only way is if you go down to the bottom of the website and you go to legal disclosures. For some companies, it's not called legal disclosures. You might find it under terms or terms and conditions or maybe just fees. It's not a lot of websites are just like Green Dot, where it's very hard to find what their fees really are, but they'll tell you all the perks that their card comes with. So one of the worst ones I found was their cashback card. And then it's not even on their website. You have to go download the PDF, open it up, scroll down their fine print and stuff. And here's their fee schedule. So their monthly fee is $9.95, out of network ATM, $3, cash withdrawal, $3. Just to check your ATM, um, check your balance at an ATM, 50 cents, you know? Uh, and then another one that I wouldn't recommend was the green dot pay as you go visa debit card. So let's take a look at this one. Also got to scroll down. So here is their fee schedule. It's a dollar 50 per transaction. So it's not a monthly thing. It's every time you use your card, whether it's a deposit or you spend some money at a store, each and every transaction is $1.50 on top. I can imagine it's going to get real expensive for you and an inactivity fee. So just, just because you don't use the card, so you don't incur this $1.50 transaction fee, you actually incur fees after 90 days if you don't use the card and that's $9.95 per month. Again, with the $3 withdrawal fee, uh, 50 cents to just to check your balance at the ATM. Oh my gosh. A lot of the cards are actually like this. They charge per transaction or they charge a monthly fee, but they hide the fee. So you have to look here in the legal disclosure. And so back to the homepage where they say that they've served 33 million customers. So just to have a little fun with this, I'm not really sure if they've had 33 million customers over the course of 20 years, or if that's how many customers they have today. But if let's, let's just say it's over the course of 20 years. So 33 million customers. And let's say they just charged all of them a monthly fee of $7.95, even just one time, just one time. They've made $262 million. So I assume they have like a huge marketing and advertising budget to market to poor suckers who fall for buying their card. 
I'm actually really curious to know if any of you watching this video, have you ever had a Green Dot prepaid debit card? Please let me know in the comments below and like, what's your opinion of the Green Dot prepaid debit card? Because I certainly do not like what I see just from seeing what's on their website. Now, the reason I believe the American Express Bluebird card truly is an outstanding prepaid debit card with no fees is because there really just is no catch. They're not trying to prey on unsuspecting customers with hidden fees here and there. There, there really aren't any fees for most transactions that you're trying to do. And if there are fees, they're very low and they're not for like the kind of routine transactions you would do on a prepaid debit card anyway. If you sign up online, it is free to get. So don't buy it in a store, sign up online. There's just no monthly maintenance fees with this card, so you don't have to worry about it. If you need to reload cash onto the card, you can do it at many participating stores, but they do charge a fee. But if you do it at Walmart, which is pretty much all over the United States, you can reload for free there. And if you ever need to withdraw cash from an ATM, you can do that for free so long as the ATM is within their network. The second card that I'm recommending is the American Express Serve card. So this card isn't for everyone, but if you happen to be someone living in the state of New York, Texas, or Vermont, then this is an option for you. In fact, I actually prefer the American Express Serve card over the Bluebird card if you happen to live in one of those three states. So the reason why is because if you live in those three states, there are no monthly maintenance fees at all. There's just no catch. So this card has three versions actually. There is the blue card, the green card, and the gray card. I recommend you get the green card, which has free cash reloads. So you can reload at any of their participating stores for free. So basically the green version is pretty much free all around if you happen to live in those three states because there's also no monthly maintenance fee to go with it. In fact, I had this card five years ago when I was still living in New York City and I actually didn't know that I didn't get charged a monthly fee just because I lived in New York City. I thought it was the card in general, but I just learned this year that it's because I, I lived in New York City. But it was a great card because um, if you happen to live in New York City, Walmart's not allowed there, you know? If Walmart was in New York City, they would just make all the small mom and pop retail businesses go out of business. The Bluebird card wouldn't actually be an option, or at least it wouldn't be a free reload option for people living in New York City because there's just no Walmart to reload at. So if you live in New York City, then hey, the Surf card is actually a better option for you and perhaps in Texas and Vermont too. And that's just my thought process. Like that is how I think about how to approach and choose a prepaid debit card. And basically you wanna apply this philosophy to any financial product you're looking at, not just debit cards, but credit cards, banks, etc. Okay, that's it for you guys today. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for the notification when part four of this series on prepaid debit cards comes out. The next and final video in this series is how to budget with prepaid debit cards. So please be on the lookout for it. I know this whole series is getting a little bit long and I'm kind of overdoing it, but I did see that, you know, there's not really many videos on prepaid debit cards out there or articles on the internet out there. And I just think that people who earn a low income are just so underserved by the banking industry and the personal finance industry. And I just wanted to say that you guys definitely matter. You know, you guys make up a large part of the population. And I just wanted to make sure you guys got this information, which is why I go so in depth so I hope so far all this information has been very helpful to you. Again, all the information on this channel is free. So if you want to support my channel financially, you can buy my book on Amazon, 1001 Ways to Save Money, Quit Flushing Your Hard Earned Money Down the Toilet. And if you already bought the book, you know what would make my day? Write me a review. It would totally make my day, probably even my week, if I loved your review and you made me laugh. All right, guys. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time. Bye.